So this is a Meyer lemon tree grafted onto a dwarf root ball. So perfect for growing in a container. I got this for my birthday at the end of August along with the kumquat tree key. Um, this lemon tree in a similar way to the kumquat was seemed to have been uh, the lead branch was pruned by the growers and which is keeping it nice and short uh, and it's got these two branches going off to either side so I had the idea that it would be perfect for an espalier style of pruning and training. Now, since I'm doing an espalier style, I had to take that extra branch off because essentially what I'm doing with the espalier style is training the tree to grow like flat against a wall. So anything that's coming off in different directions is spectacle, as it were. Um, here I'm just kind of trying to clean up that point where I cut the branch off and make sure it's flush against the branch so it will heal over nicely. Um, and I'm the espalier pattern I'm going for with this is a fan pattern really fortunate to have Luna's help <laughs> but at this point I'm going to start tying branches to this trellis trellis I bought online um, because right now they're they're not growing on the same plane so the idea is I will I will tie the branches to the trellis um, so that it starts growing uh, symmetrically and I didn't do this today but actually looking back at the video now I kind of wish I had cut this branch that I'm training on this side I wish I had cut it a little bit shorter because um, I just feel like I don't know I, I don't know <sighs> I'll wait. I'll wait until the springtime. I'll see how the tree grows. I don't know for sure if I want to have this lower level of branch like grow all the way up the edges of the trellis. Um, but that's a decision that I can make later depending on how much room I have for more branches as they grow from the new lead branch in the center. So you can find more videos about how to tie a spalier to trees to a trellis um, and they make a special tape for this because basically what you want is something sturdy enough to secure your tree where you want it to be and grow but something stretchy or soft enough that as the tree grows, it won't, the tie won't do any damage to the branches. Um, and again, they, they make a special like green tape for this. It's like stretchy or whatever. Um, and I've seen some people also use like just standard garden twine or what I grew up knowing as baling twine. Uh, but I'm just using a yarn because that's what I had and it's a fairly soft material but yarn is strong enough that it, it won't fall apart completely but it also has some give so I don't have to worry about it doing too much damage to the tree and of course like anytime that you're tying branches even though I'm, I'm doing it loosely and I'm using this soft like stretchy material I'm still going to be checking on the tree uh, as it grows to just make sure that it's it's staying healthy and happy 
this is obviously a method of, of training that is a little bit more labor intensive, um, certainly more labor intensive than the way that I pruned a kumquat. But I don't know, I'm, I'm trying something new by growing this lemon tree anyway. Um, like I said in the kumquat video, I've, I've never grown citrus before. I've certainly never tried to grow the trees in containers and have them outside in the summer and inside in the winter. Uh, so I'm just, I'm just doing a lot of experimenting right now. Um, I'm excited about it. One thing that's nice about the the tree growing though is you get to do this thing where every now like twice a year you need to like prune and and do kind of some heavy maintenance on the tree uh, but then for most of the year you can just kind of leave it apart from making sure that it's watered especially when it's inside you have to make sure it's watered um, but apart from that, you can often just kind of let trees do their thing. I, uh, you'll also notice with these two branches off to the side, I, I trimmed the extra branches that were coming off of them because I don't want these branches to have branches that are, are growing back against the rest of the tree. Um, and similarly, the lead branch has two branches coming off of it, and I might end up cutting those off. <sighs> but because this is a new tree and that's new growth, I don't want to go too crazy cutting things off, and I'm not entirely sure how this tree is going to grow overall. So there's a chance that those two branches coming off of the lead may end up being higher up and then they will be new branches to like fan out. Um, but on the other hand, if they end up being too close to the lower branches, I might cut them off and encourage new branches off. <laughs> Luna's got like something stuck in her mouth, probably a twig or something she was chewing on. That's why she's making that face. Sorry, getting distracted by my cat. <laughs> um, right here, I'm like messing with the trellis because I want to make sure it's well grounded into the pot. And I'm also trying to make sure that the, like the tree and the trellis is as centered in the pot as it can be. Um, I'm a little bit frustrated because the trunk of the tree ends up being a little like it's it's growing at like a little bit of a slant <laughs> which doesn't see it's not ideal but yeah i don't know it is it is what it is it is what it is and i don't i don't mind it we'll see how it does So the other reason I decided to espalier this lemon tree, this Meyer lemon, is because the Meyer lemon has larger leaves than kumquat and its branches are quite long. And the lemons it produces will be the size of, or should be the size of like a conventional lemon that you buy in the store. The Meyer lemon is much sweeter, it doesn't taste the same as a conventional lemon, but the, the fruit is about the same size. And since it's in this small pot, these branches will be dragged down a lot as the lemons grow. So my hope with the espalier technique is that it will offer some support to the branches and help prevent any damage to the tree. I think it's a really nice, it's a really beautiful, really compact way of organizing your branches so that you can see everything better and, and make sure that the tree is healthy. I don't know. 
espalier, I think even more so than other methods of tree pruning can seem very unnatural because you're you're training these it's it's almost like bonsai in the extreme way that you are training the branches of the tree um, but this is a technique that has been around for thousands of years um, some people credit the origin of it to the 14th century apparently there was a monk who was tending a large variety of fruit trees around the abbey that he lived in and he found that some of the some of the trees that were closer against the wall grew better than once further away because they stayed warmer so he trained all of his trees to grow against the wall um, but then I also read somewhere that the ancient Egyptians also espaliered trees um, long before the 14th century, which the Egyptians made so many technological and agricultural advances and had so many sophisticated techniques for growing that, I mean, I'm not sure if that's the case. I have not done as extensive research as I could have, but I would not be surprised at all if they use this method. So yeah, I'm just trimming up some of the strings now that I'm satisfied with the way the the espalier is tied up and I'm excited to see how this grows. I hope you all enjoyed watching this process and I think I'm naming the lemon tree Athena. I don't know. You know it's Maybe odd. We have Athena the lemon tree and Keith the kumquat, but there it is. <laughs> Those are their names. Um, I hope you all have a lovely day and this was helpful to some of you. Until next time. <laughs>